Did you know that the average individual who goes to therapy typically is there from 12 to 16 sessions, which basically turns out to be three to four months or 12 to 16 weeks? Today, I'm going to show you how you can become more solution focused so that you're not going to therapy for your business. OK, so I'm going to show you and break down just a few strategies and unpack what we can really learn to help us get a solution sooner and quicker than the delayed way that we've done in the past. Let's get into the episode. Welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show with Jonathan Jones. Here you will learn how to start, launch, and monetize your podcast. In addition to hearing the latest trends and the latest and greatest things happening in the podcast. And what's going on, family? And welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show with me, your host, Jonathan Jones. And today, as I was saying just in the intro, let's talk a little bit about psychology, right? Let's break down a little bit of psychology. And the reason I want to break down some psychology is because when it comes to talking about and understanding the way the human mind works, psychology breaks down all of its functions and especially those which affect the behavior in a given context. John, you're trying to take me back to school. What are we talking about, John? What are you doing? Okay, so here it is. I was at Home Depot just a few days ago, right? And as I'm at Home Depot, I go up there because my wife is wanting to redo our fireplace. So I need to purchase sheetrock. After purchasing the sheetrock, I'm trying to squish it in the back of the trunk. Hello, anybody. If you're watching this on YouTube, you see the motions that I'm doing right now. First of all, the sheetrock was eight feet long. Secondly, I had to get it cut in half and then it still didn't fit in my trunk. So I'm sitting outside and I'm just looking at this sheetrock. And then, of course, it's beginning to drizzle, which starts to turn into rain. I run up to my man who's in the car. He just loaded his baby in the car. And I said, sir, I said, I don't know what your time looks like. I don't know what uh, you got going on today. But by any chance, could you help me take this sheetrock to the house? I stayed just up the road. He said, no, sir. I got my kid with me. I can't do it. And then after I went to get mad, but then I thought, well, I didn't tell him I had my car and I was going to trail him. So he thought I was going to get in his car. Nah, bro. That's not what we doing. OK, so it didn't work out there. Then it got to the second gentleman where I saw him. I ran up. He had a pickup truck. I was like, sir, I have my own car, I have my own vehicle. But can you would you be willing to help me take this sheetrock to my house? It's like eight miles up the road, please. I'll give you ten dollars. My man obliged and said yes. And after this, going through this whole process, I began to think, well, in that situation, I didn't have what I needed to be. I didn't have the vehicle to ultimately be successful to get home. But I got to the solution. Right. So after thinking through that, I said, I think the listeners can benefit on an episode. So let me unpack it. Family, when it comes to whatever problem that you're facing, whatever problem, I want you to know that there is always a solution. There is always a way for you to get what you need out of that instance and out of that situation. So the first thing that you always have to do before you can start to solve anything, before you can start to see how much money you have to pay for the solution or the transformation, the first thing you have to do is identify or, or you have to admit the problem period. You have to identify or admit that there actually is a problem, right? For people out there who see their marketing efforts not working, for people out there struggling, trying to get more exposure, they can continue to do the same thing over and over and over in hoping and praying and wishing that one day it's going to change, but that's insanity. They have to admit, I need help with marketing. I need help getting out my message. So we have to identify the problem, right? And then after we identify the problem, then the next thing that we want to do is we want to identify 
Well, before I get there, before I get there, let me slow down. Let me slow down. Let me slow down. Going back, breaking down the psychology, because I want to bring y'all in. I want to give y'all a little bit of insight, okay? Because we talked about identifying the problem first, but now I want to pivot because I told you about the definition of psychology and I told you that the majority of individuals who go to therapy typically go for 12 to 16 sessions. Now, your question to me might be, well, John, that's how long it takes or, well, why do they have to go so long? I don't know. One thing that I would say would be I feel that a lot of people go to therapy so long is because depending on some of the uh, what they call theoretical orientation. So this is depending on some ways that psychologists do their therapy. A lot of times it focuses on the problem. If every day you come in and you're talking about the problem, you're talking about the problem, you're talking about the problem, you're always going to have something to talk about because you're focusing on the problem. So now let's allow to enter stage left solution focused therapy or solution focused brief therapy is what they call it. And this was my favorite theoretical orientation when I was going through grad school. And this is the definition. This is the definition of it. It's future oriented goal directed approach to solving human problems of living. One more time. It's future oriented. It's goal directed. And the focus is solving the human problem of living. The focus isn't talking about the problem. The focus is solving the human problem. Why is that powerful here? Because when we begin to shift our focus from focusing solely on the problem, we identify it. Yes, we admit it. Yes. But then we need to start turning and trying to identify where can we find the solution? Period. Why am I sharing this? Majority of individuals who go to therapy, they're in 12 to 16 sessions. That's typical therapy with some of the other um, theoretical orientations, right? On average, solution focus brief therapy sessions, the average of people that attend those, they say they average from five to eight sessions. That's 50% less sessions if you just take it on the high end and say, oh, they're going to go for eight sessions. That's 50% less. So how does this apply now in our life, in our journey towards our podcast, towards our business? First, we identify the problem, accept it. Next, you have to identify, start to look, who potentially can help you? Who potentially can help you? I have a client that that I work with and uh, this young man, he has a podcast focus on mental health, right? And from him starting his podcast on mental health, at first he didn't have an idea and wasn't really clear on the concept of what he wanted to discuss on his podcast. After we talked and linked up, I showed him how I could help him because I've helped some other clients as well take their content take their message and formulate it into a podcast. So he identified me, we connected, and then I helped him. And then when you connect with somebody who has experience, you connect with somebody who's done it before, it's not going to take them as long. Let's keep on moving. Let's keep on rolling. And then... The last thing that you have to do is you have to now determine why this potential person is the best for you. Why? Right? There's a lot of coaches out here online. Some mental health coaches, some mindset coaches, some business coaches, some entrepreneurship coaches, some speaking coaches, some podcast coaches. Whatever industry you go in, you're going to find a plethora of coaches. But I want you to take a step back and I don't want you to get so excited and so high off the fact that this person has X amount of followers. This person has been doing business for this long or that long. 
I want you to take a moment and check out their track record, right? Check out their track record. Who else have they served? Who else have they helped? Are they even somebody who is niched down in this certain topic? Or do they do they do five different things? Because I'm here to believe that if people do five different things, then they probably do them somewhat well. Versus an individual who's a specialist, who's a master electrician, who's a master mechanic, right? These are things we want to begin to think about and process through. And then lastly, you want to make sure that their approach works for you. You might not necessarily like somebody who's yelling at you and screaming at you to get you motivated and pumped up. But you might like somebody who walks you through and talks you through strategy, walks you through and talks you through philosophy, takes you step by step, hand holding, group coaching. Right. This might be something that resonates with you. And then the last thing you want to think about is what are their beliefs? What's their belief system? Right? Maybe what's their faith? Because if any of these things, if all these boxes don't check, and I'm not saying be unrealistic with the standards that you have for expecting someone to help you and you want them to walk on water and do miracles and all this other stuff. I'm just saying be realistic in what you're looking for. And then that makes sure that this person can help you get the transformation that you're seeking. Family, if you have not, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, I would encourage you, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you're listening to the podcast, then they have the they have the hyperlink down there in the show notes. Hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell because we're providing you podcast news and, po and podcast how-tos on the channel. So make sure to subscribe there. And then also, I would encourage you that if you're a speaker, coach, or consultant, that you need to be in my upcoming training, right? You need to go ahead and go to yourpodcastmentorshow.com. And then at the top, if you're on the computer, just click the link that says free webinar or free training. If you're on your phone, then you're going to click like the three dash lines. And it's going to prompt you to the menu and then click that free webinar training link. And then you can get signed up because I want to show you how to establish yourself as an authority in your space. I want you to be successful and really thrive in your space. All right. So make sure to sign up for that training. I'm going to be teaching you and going in deep just to make sure that you're getting value and make sure that you have some applicable and tangible strategy after the session is over. All right. So let's go ahead and do the recap just in case you were sleeping. You missed it. This is going to be the Cliff Notes version. In order for you to learn to be solution focused, the first thing we have to do is we have to take time off the table. Too often we give ourselves too, too, too much time. So we have to shrink our time and take that off the table. Okay, now here we go. The, the next thing that we need to do is know that it's, that it's possible, right? We need to know that it's possible for us to get the solution in the amount of time that we're seeking. The next thing is we have to identify or admit the problem. Some of us might be living in just la, 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 la land, not accepting that we have a problem. We have to admit it and then we have to identify it and call it out. I have a problem with marketing. OK. And then you can move forward. You have to start by admitting it. The next thing you have to do is then identify. OK, I got the problem. Now, who can help me? If I have a problem with marketing, do I need to hire a marketing agency? Do I need to hire a business coach? Do I need to hire a podcast coach? Do I need to hire a blog writing coach? We want to then identify who can help get us the transformation that we're seeking. Then the third thing and final thing is we have to determine why that person is best for us. Ask them questions, interview them, hop on their webinars, listen to their free calls or whatever else they might offer. Watch their content. Take it in on YouTube. Take it in on podcasts. Take it in wherever you take in people's content because you want to make sure that you can learn from them and you want to make sure that their teaching style resonates with the best way that you learn. Because if not, then you're not going to get the coach that you're looking for. You're going to just sign up for a program and then you're not going to finish it. 
you're going to sign up with somebody and you're going to say, you know what? I don't like the way that he's talking to me. I don't like the way that she's talking to me. I'm out. And then you're going to just quit. So family, today I wanted to show you how to become solution focused. All right. Sharing my little bit of grad school knowledge that I got because I did not graduate. I said, I don't want to do this. So then I moved around. I moved around. So family, anyway, until next time, uh, if you have not subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe link down in the show notes or hit the subscribe button if you're on YouTube and then hit that bell so you get notified every time we drop an episode, which is every Monday and every Thursday. But family, we're getting out of here. It's your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones. And remember, the premise and the purpose of this show is to help you establish your platform so you can profit on purpose with your podcast. Peace and God bless.